before I go into the word of God, let us pray and tell God, in a time like this, we need help. You will open your mouth and tell God, Lord, in a means of scarcity, give me an abundance. Okay, let's praise the Lord. You are welcome to our throne of mercy. But before I go into the word of God, let us pray. We need prayer. Most especially at a time like this, you will open your mouth and tell God, Lord, in the midst of scarcity, God, give me an abundance. Give me grace to have an abundance. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. Give me the grace to have an abundance in the midst of scarcity. Lord, let me have over sufficient. Let me have quantity. Let me have plentiful. Let me have overflow. Pray, 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 pray. In Jesus' name we have prayed. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 12 and 13, Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him, he began to prosper until he became prosperous. You will open your mouth once again. Lord, in the midst of scarcity, give me grace to expand. Give me grace to have overflow. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray. Tell God, tell God, I shall not lack good things. I shall not lack good things. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. In Jesus' name we have prayed that we are in the time of economic recession. This is no longer a news. It has been, it has been declared officially that in most countries all over the world, there is economic recession, inclusive Nigeria. When you see people on the road, grief can be boldly written in their faces. You will open your mouth. Boti wuko she leto la ye. Boti wuki yon na muto. Loru ko jesu. Mi o ni she alay ni o urere. E ba o loru soro. O ya e sodi adura be. O lu a ma jen she alay ni. Ma jen be igba bara ka akiri. E ba o loru soro. Ma jen di o ni bara o son gogon. E soro jade e soro jade. Ma jen di o ni bara. E ba o loru soro. 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 Jesu Oluawa Ami. How can somebody experience abundance in the midst of scarcity? Number one, you must, you must accept the word of God because the Bible says in the book of that Genesis 26, then the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down into Egypt. Lead, live in the land of which I shall tell you. You have to be sensitive to the word of God. You have to be sensitive to divine instruction. That is how we can live in abundance in the midst of scarcity. Number two, you, we must pay our tithe. What belongs to God, don't hold it. We must be sensitive to that. What belongs to God, we must give it to him. Number three, be diligent and thorough. Be hardworking and industrious. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 20, 21, verse 5, says the plan of the diligent lead to profit, and surely as haste lead to poverty. You must be industrious. Am I your le? You have to be dynamic. You must know how to, how to turn one naira to two naira in a time like this. Come out bad, and it don't be bad, but E gbodo mo bi eyan se nsise ole oraye wa ni asiko ti a wa yi to ba fe pada si lu yin to ba fe fi eko sile o gbodo te pa mo se ohun ti ijoba nso ni yen you must understand that or else you will just find your you find yourself where you don't belong i pray to all everybody under the sound of my voice in the midst of scarcity may god give you abundance of plenty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Jehovah. 
In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank God for that prayer session, the first prayer session that was led by Pastor uh, Shomuiwa. I'd like to continue um, in this prayer uh, segment by leading us to pray that God will help us to follow the right person or the right people in life. John the Baptist had these two great disciples following him. And when they saw Jesus, the Lamb of God, John the Baptist pointed them to Jesus and said to them, look at Jesus, the Lamb of God. And then they went to Jesus and said, we want to know where you live. Where do you live? And Jesus said, come and see. Now, in life, people, so many people have followed the wrong friends or the wrong set of people. Some people have gotten married to the wrong person. See a lot of people killing themselves today. Husbands stabbing wives to death. Wives stabbing husbands to death. Because in the first place, they got engaged with the wrong person. And some people have gone to the wrong church because you had a problem. They took you to a, 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 a church where they will light up candles for you, where they would make voodoo for you, put incisions on your body, add problem upon your problem. You went to the wrong place. But thank God. The John the Baptist was the right man that Andrew and the other disciples followed. When he saw Jesus, he showed them Jesus. And when they went to Jesus and went to stay with him, they came back and started telling other people, we have found the Messiah. They got the right person. You are going to pray and say, Lord, where am I? What am I looking at? What am I focusing on? Who am I following that will lead me astray? God, I pray you will help me to retrace my step. Open your mouth. Call my father, my father in the name of Jesus. Help me to retrace my steps, oh God. Where I'm going astray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The wrong step can lead to disaster. The wrong step can lead to your death. And there may be no remedy. The long step, the wrong step can shatter your dreams in life. The wrong step, going with the wrong person in life, can, can cripple your entire destiny. So you need to pray. Where am I heading for in life? That will shatter my dream. That will destroy my destiny. Lord, open my eyes to see that there is no way there now. Shall we begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus? Open my eyes to see that there is no way where I'm heading for that wrong place, that wrong destination. Open my eyes now. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Your eyes must be open, otherwise. If you get to the end of the road, the crossroad, it might be too late for you to get back. Your eyes must be open. A lot of people get into uh, uh, um, public buses today that we call, they call it one chance. Just one more chance. And it's the place that will lead to their death. But if the Lord will open your eyes, you will not even get bought such a bus. Because it will open your eyes. Something will occur that will make you know that's not the boss. That's not the one taking me to where I'm going. I need you to pray. I was, I was uh, in, in a, a, a conference, a church conference. And I was the moderator for a panel discussion. That has to do with the mess that the church has gotten into in our generation. And we talked at length on so many things and what we need to do. And people were asking questions. So how do we identify the right church? How do we identify the right man of God? How do we, people were asking a lot of questions. And um, somebody said, what do you do? If, for instance, you are in a church 
And you come to know later on that that's the wrong place. You have found out in the Bible or in some of the teachings that you, you've been there in the wrong place. So what do I do? How do I tell the pastor or even the woman of God that I've been following for long? What do I do? The person asks a question and I say, let me just give you a, a simple illustration. You can know what to do. Let's assume you bought a bus. You are in Lagos. You are somewhere in Yaba here. And you bought a bus. You are on your way to uh, Maryland or to Ikeja. But as you boarded the bus from Yaba, by the time you got to uh, Jibo, you realized that the driver was crossing from one lane to the other and getting over the culvert and coming back to the lane. And <laughs> I said, if he gets to Fadi to draw passengers, what should be your next step? <laughs> Are you going to continue with him in that bus to Ikeja? You already know you are heading for death because he's drunk. You can see him crossing from one lane to the other. You want to ask the other person in the car or in the bus, should we continue? Is that going to be your question? No. You will be glad that he got you to Father the bus stop where some people are going to alight from the bus and you will get down and board another bus. So if you are following the wrong track, you are going the wrong way that can destroy your dream, I pray that God will give you the courage to step out of that track and get to the right place in life where you can fulfill your destiny in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. I pray that you will get up even if you are sitting in the wrong place. If you are sitting in the wrong place, doing the wrong things, may God help you to get out of it, get up and go for what he wants you to become in life. In the name of the Father, if you are in a wrong relationship, may the Lord help you to get out of it and go into the right relationship. If you are following uh, or going uh, uh, along the way that can destroy your God-given destiny. May the Lord help you to come out of it now. In the name of the Father, he will speak to you in your dream. In your sleep, he will speak to you. He will send people to you to talk to you. He will send prophets to you to speak to you. He will open your eyes when you are reading the scriptures to know where you should be and where you shouldn't be. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I bless God for this prayer service and I believe your testimonies are on the way. You're coming to share testimonies until we come your way again. Remain safe, strong, bold, and rapturable. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the more Thanks for watching. You can connect with us online for service at Facebook forward slash CACVOMDCCHQ on Instagram at CACVOMDCCHQ and on YouTube at CACVOMDCCHQ. You can also fellowship with us at Christ Apostolic Church Vineyard of Mercy District at number 45 stroke 47 Commercial Avenue Sabo Yaba Lagos telephone 0806349 8213 or 0902510746 God bless you